welcome to one of the new book session or new podcast uh, based on Harari's 21 lesson for the 21st century. Uh, of course, we are living in the 21st century and uh, we already discussed most of the Harari's first two books, Sapiens and Homo Deus in the KLV, and uh, we are taking up like, his latest big book, 21 lessons. Okay, so and today we are going to talk about the first lesson, which is nothing but uh, disillusionment. Okay, it's just nothing but something. We are living in the illusion and we are not seeing the reality and uh, we are cheating upon us. Uh, in Tamil, we say like a uh, matram. There is something is there, but we are not realizing it. Okay, so let's learn with some of the recent happenings and all those things and uh, see what is the lesson we need to learn uh, out of this one. So we, we come to reality instead of living in a, illusion or a, like a dissolution whatever it is okay let's see huh? so in the last uh, 100 years right you can take from uh, 1920 to 2020 uh, we saw three grand stories which was ruling the earth so the number one is the fascist which is nothing but the uh, autocratics like uh, hitler and uh, Mussolini and all those, all these guys started the World War II, and uh, it is very gruesome and resulted in millions of people dying. And once the World War ended, this fascist is completely gone, and only two stories were existing, which is the liberalistic and communist. Okay, so in the fascist story or autocratic, what the thing which we need to see is right, one group, they think they are the superior. Okay and they violently subdue all others. Okay, but this particular group end of World War II knocked out and from that time like a world is like mostly moving towards the peaceful era. So that's why we see like a more and more like a lesser wars now. Okay, and the second one is a communist. Okay, we all know the communism, right? Communism is very simple. Uh, everyone is equal and it is run by a united central social system. OK, so what is lost in this communism is freedom. OK, you need to be equal. OK, you want to go up, you cannot. You put you down, pull you down and hey, you can only grow at the rate. Everyone needs to grow equally. OK, so which is not good if you want to make a progress. OK, but still there are some nations following this communist movements, OK, like uh, China, and uh, North Korea and uh, Cuba, I think, and there are a few countries, OK, five to seven, even six countries, OK. And apart from these countries, like most of the country took the liberal approach. What is this liberal approach is like, hey, there is nothing called like your superior or another one is there. So everyone is equal, let's, equal. let's cooperate freely and uh, whoever wants to grow, right, let them grow. OK, but what happens eventually is like uh, one who learns and uh, upskills, they keep on growing. OK, and uh, when it lasts for a longer period, right, there was more inequality. And that's when a lot of cringe movies coming up like rich gets richer and poor get poorer. OK, <laughs> and most of the movies. So thinking like uh, rich are stealing from the poor and rather than telling the poor, how to achieve the path and grow better, right? So that's what like we are going to learn at the end of this uh, session, OK? OK, so what happens? Let's see. One of the in key thing in the liberal stories, right? Uh, we might have seen in the past, right? Every family would have their own uh like a work and that is what now people are bringing up right they say this is our family job i am the goldsmith i am the farmer i am the washer i am the one who cuts hair and i am the one who's a priest in the temple and only their lineage only they can do it okay so what happens is like uh, the other guy cannot grow up, right? But in the liberal story, what they said, right? There is nothing like that. You can cooperate with anyone, okay? And 
they build some basics like uh, education for all and everything. Once you started educating everyone, they are questioning like uh, all the practices which we follow. One of the important thing happened in that result. We stopped following Sati practice. We learned once we learned, we started questioning a hey, why we need to follow such a practice. Why a wife needs to die when his husband dies? OK, and that's when new revolution happened and the widow remarriage is happening. And uh, if you take another good example from the history is like uh, Alan Turing. OK, he he went to suicide because like uh, the people around him treated his kind of a mental patient for being a gay. At the time it is a. It's like one form of like a severe violation or like a criminal code, OK, because of the Bible. Bible says you should not practice the, on the practice, I think. So that's why. But in the year like uh, post 2000, the Queen apologized for all those behaviors and even created a new award called Turing Award based on his name. Okay, so that's how we are changing by learning and questioning. So now we are almost touching everything, right? It, it, no one, no job belongs to a particular group of lineage. That's why the Tamil Nadu government even bring uh, teach the, the Vedas and the other slogans and promoting all people from other caste to enter into the temples and start practicing. It might be a hard hitting for someone to accept who's like a believer, but that's how we can change the society. Everyone can go everywhere. So that means what I th what did I say earlier? Like rich getting richer and poor getting poorer. So a poor is also getting rich once he started utilizing the tools provided by the liberal story. Okay, but one who is not utilizing the tools being lazy is the one who is still remaining poor. So that's why the liberal stories more and more like when you go behind right uh, we have a lot of things uh, let's see what is happening okay but now from this slide what i want to take away is right there are tools available the only thing you are the one you need to focus set a goal uh, start learning and uh, show some progress so at least your next generation moves one step higher than whatever you are now okay one simple example we can take like even uh, myself like uh, my grandfather was like uh, in village he was like uh, a farmer plus and he was doing accounting for the one of the bigger farm owners but due to free education my dad broke it and he said focus he learned and he become a, a big graduate and then he got a government job in THL and because of this progress and uh, his son, which is me, I got an even better progress to study in like uh, US foreign universities, like top notch universities and lead a still much more better life than him. So if you utilize the tools, you can definitely make progress. So just don't be lazy, OK? Uh, it, there are a lot of stories, right? Kalam, everyone, be the only success you have is like only through the education and learning every day. OK, so let's go further. OK. And uh, since this liberal story bringing up started bringing more and more people, right? Uh, this global mantra is adapted by more and more people. OK, and uh, you can still say you say liberal liberal story you are showing higher GDP and everything, but there are still poverty exists. That's the thing. Poverty exists, but there are tools, but they need to do it. And of course, they need some kind of a support from the government, which is also required. But because of some one, one, one reason, government is not willing to spend more money of this upliftment. Let's see why it is. Okay, so so once this progress happened, right? Everyone believed like. A, this liberal policy is the way to follow, OK? But at the 2008, this progress completely flipped because of the bubble burst, 2008 financial crisis, OK? And this is the first time 
they found out like uh, they are under the illusion that they are really making progress and uh, then they started losing the trust in liberal policies. What happened post 2008, right? Only after post 2008 and further and further they realize they cannot catch up with the progress and uh, more and more the jobs are getting it's like more and more new jobs creation okay and uh, not the routine normal jobs are like uh, shrinking okay but new jobs are like, like enlarging but the skill set to acquire that requires more learning right? and that's when a different set of things happen and which is really become a bombarding problem for Indians especially who want to go abroad and like uh, migrate to like a higher tier, which is nothing but the immigration. They put a stringent policies on immigration and they make sure only like a one who contributes to their nation, society, then only they accept their immigration. OK, so before that, it was very easy to migrate to developed countries because they are welcoming all the talents so that they can progress faster. OK. So why this progress backfired? Okay, the, one of the important things is like uh, this liberal stories and liberal policies are based upon the industrial revolution or industrial age. Okay, but not for information era. That is the reason the liberal story started failing. The reason is one who makes the law or one who vote for the politician and who is making the law is not aware of the world outside them, like the internet revolution, artificial intelligence, blockchain, biotech, and lot, lot of more. Like uh, we already discussed this in the digital transformation and a lot of other topics. So, what and what else happening now? A particular group of people who already made a progress, right, and taken control of everything. They are now started exploring a world inside humans, like how the brain is designed, how the brain thinks, how to stop aging, how to kill a thought, or how to induce a thought. Like the movie, like Vertical Pure, right? It goes three levels into the dream and induce a thought instead of killing a thought. Like those kind of things are like increasingly progress because of the people's research and focus. Okay, so what happens? When these groups go ahead and ahead, if you're not understanding all these things, you cannot make a law properly. Okay, and a common man cannot elect a politician. So what happens with his knowledge, with whatever he has, he choose a politician and that person is also like lacking what's happening or like fail to understand all these things happening, which is outside of the heuristics, right? is becoming a problem. They don't know how to make a law and this kind of people start tricking. So that's when when they realize they are in under some kind of an illusion and got cheated. Then they question uh, Mark Zuckerberg and all other guys, right? Who are stealing the data by giving free apps and all those things and most stringent measures they are taking, which of course halting the progress, but of course it will go further beyond. They will do new things. Metaverse comes in. Because that law is applicable to social media metaverse is new. So obviously the law doesn't bind. So these people need to touch him. So that's all the things we need to understand the world outside us. Okay. This illusion number two. So number two is very simple, right? The one who thinks they light group, right? They think they know everything. Okay, and they know everything and they think they can transform the world. But reality is the same people who think they know everything and started building industries and everywhere all over the world in the industrial era, which eventually led to climate crisis. And now they are thinking how to resolve the climate crisis and they are changing the way the industrial things are operating. Okay, so this is a very important thing. You should not know, think like you know everything. Okay, so now we, are, we said, right, they have started exploring inside the human mind. Same thing is applicable. What will happen? It can lead to different form of evolution like homotius, or it can lead to some different form of mental disorders. For example, very simple, right? This Alzheimer's disease, right? They got a breakthrough in 2005 through some research, which is nothing but in the brain, 
there is some kind of a protein called uh, amyloid. Okay, uh, I might pronounce the name incorrectly. That protein accumulates over the important cognitive area like uh, memory and uh, speaking or like writing and all those things, right? It it accumulates over it, right? so it cannot cross link in the brain and which eventually lead to the degradation of the brain. So everyone was focusing on how to avoid this accumulation of protein. Okay, but recently in last one one month, there was a new breakthrough. The breakthrough is different. What they say is our human body has an immune system, right? Similarly, brain also have an immune system. This immune system, whenever a bacteria enters your brain, it attacks the bacteria. But it become an autoimmune disorder. That means even though there is not a bacteria, it thinks the brain's white matter or gray matter is a bacteria and it goes attack it and eventually it creates a different kind of a protein and accumulates. So that means that the way they did the research, now they need to reinvent it. Okay, so these are the things they are working on it. So we don't know. Eventually these people can be like a superpower, like a supercomputer, so different things, whatever, anything can happen. Like uh, oh, Elon Musk is preparing this uh, neuro chip, right? In the neuro link, everyone is working on it, something or other. Just we don't know what's happening in this biotech. At least since we are computer science engineer, we can at least closely learn about what's happening in this information tech and we can spread some awareness. But biotech is completely Greek and Latin to us, right? That's the reason Kelly took you now some of the biotech books. Like first thing is a DNA editing. And we are also did some introduction podcast, but we will come back to it again next year and we, do, we complete the next set in that. So we need to grow as a community. One person cannot learn everything. So someone needs to learn and share and we need to grow as a community. And of course, there is one lesson in this 21 lessons, especially for community and its importance. We can talk in detail in that particular lesson. This is another important thing, okay? The many who is at the top level and right, writing the politician and everything, right? They know like common people are becoming more and more uh, irrelevant. Okay, I think it's a typo. It is not relevant. They are becoming more and more irrelevant, but they are in the illusion that they are the most relevant in the society. And this is the number three. They need to think about it and which is going to hit them hard when this happens. Already at the top level, government and uh, every uh, economist and uh, one who's rich, rich corporates and everything, they are working on it to solve it. Because they can't give jobs to everyone, new jobs are coming up. And uh, one job which they know is like uh, increasingly becoming automated. So what to do? They don't know. Okay, a lot of things are that which again we discussed in another book, A Superpower. I don't want to get in. The key thing is don't think you are the most relevant person in the society and the government should just only focus on you. They have a lot of things to do. I will show you in an upcoming slide. Okay, so because of these things, okay, and if someone does something and we, if they fail to understand, right, they go to the list, uh, like a fundamentalist reverse state. Okay, and they try to support a party which supports their belief. Like for example, Trump made a Mexico wall promise so that the Mexican can't enter into America and take the American's job. And people loved this law and voted and they elected. Okay, but reality, what should he do? He should have like a, Walk down like the, what are the technological changes, right? What's happening in this information around? What's happening in the biotech? And why these people can't get job? Why they become irrelevant, homeless, everything, right? That's the way it should be. You don't, the corporate can't function. You, you think like uh, they can come in and start contributing. It's nothing like that. You need to do a bachelor, master. You need to have some solid understanding on that. It's, it's just increasingly difficult. Okay, but again, the government is trying something new, like uh, take them as a trainee. Government is paying their salary. And of course, after two years, if they can contribute something. The company can retain them and pay the salary. This is already existing in Singapore. 
and in many countries like uh, South Korea and uh, I'm not sure about the US, but South Korea and Taiwan have these kind of things. Okay, and uh, Britain's Britain's exit from Brexit. They don't want to like work with Euro and they just exit up with them. Same thing, they want to keep their jobs. And how, same thing like Middle East, India and all those things. They started going back to religion. So that like uh, giving more importance to them. So in the end, what happening is right. The people who feel irrelevant, right? They want to be relevant. So they, they want to feel something they are contributing to the society and their family. It boils down to the utility theory we speak. So that's why like wherever they can contribute, they they support that one. So which is actually what happened is like uh, we are going backwards. In the liberal story, we break the barrier of like a racial, na the nationalist and the gender. Okay, I can see in the last 20 years, I never seen an interview like that. But in recent days, I can see the interview, like a lot of people coming and bashing at the woman that they are stealing their man's job. And they think women should not work. How it happened? Just think. All because of this uh, thing, they know they are relevant. And they are not ready to accept they are irrelevant. And how to turn to relevant, they are not ready to work. Okay, let's take a look. Even though they selected the party that they will approve their things, right? This is the reason laws in India. Okay, uh, you can still go and like uh, go through all the laws in the last two years, and 95 to 96 percent laws are made only for the liberal policies progress. But they think the government makes everything for them. How? Let's see. But let's focus on what are the reason laws. Okay. That is the electricity amendment bill. Okay. Even before that, you need to understand this uh, energy energy amendment bill. So in this bill, they said they are like gonna give license to many private sectors who are going to invest money in the non-fossil fuels. But they set some energy standards in it, and they need to just follow it. Once these companies put in all those things and they got the license, right? Now they are ready. They generated the power. The latest law by the country is uh, providing consumers with option to choose between multiple service providers in India. As of now, I think we can buy electricity only from the government, which is the same case in uh, Singapore also three years back or four years back. Then they brought a law like a uh, Private players can sell the electricity. And uh, they give a lot and lot of discount, just like our uh, Ola Uber in India earlier, Zomato, whatever the guys who entered in, right? And many signed up and they just locked into the contract. Now the price is way beyond the government services. And people who stick down to the government, they did better benefits here. So now when these players come in, obviously they're going to bring most people by showing some numbers. You can save this in six months, you can save this in one year. And we already talked about in thinking fast and slow. Our brain is not capable of uh, thinking for long term by taking a pass and working out the math. We just fall for the numbers quickly. And then there is another law which is like New Delhi International Arbitration. <laughs> this laws just say like they are going to rename New Delhi to Indian Arbitration and some minor changes. So this is nothing but like a you are a party, right? Two people have conflict. You are going to government to resolve it. Right? Some minor changes, nothing, but they need to resolve in 150 days. Earlier, it is 210 days. And the competition amendment law is like, uh, is to make sure there is no monopoly. Okay, usually there will be a merger or they will acquire someone and make sure there is no competition. So actually, the law covered something like a uh, uh, you cannot acquire something, a company which is having a, a set of 1000 crore or 3000 crore and the merger should not cross 3000 crore, some kind of things. Now they make sure there should not be any transaction with the value of 2000 crores, something you're doing. That's the only thing. And uh, the next one is Central University. They are building a universities for the 
transportation research on transportation and everything which is there in other developed countries 15 years ago and that's how they upgraded all their transport systems in japan china and uh, south korea and singapore and everywhere okay and then the indian antarctic bill antarctica is the place okay who can go you you explore you can take ownership of that area for the first time i seen this bill i was shocked on the vision of the bill they are setting up a committee for antarctic governance and environmental protection they are going to explore the antarctica for currently antarctica is explored by australia new zealand south america and uh, us and europe few countries and first time i see india stepping into this unknown territory what if you find a jackpot some oil the area you want to explore we don't know what we will find under that so this is uh, one interesting thing and the finance bill this will be already talked separately in one session so they started like uh, say the central government bank digital currency is going to come to the government and then the stringent rules on the digital crypto asset and nft okay. tell me these are the laws in last seven months past what is single law which is going to bring the irrelevant people to relevant but people still think government is making them relevant how oligarchy so if other we need to understand the lincoln's logic lincoln strongly believe this democracy government cannot fool all the people sorry this lincoln believe a democracy can fool all the people for some of the time like maybe after elected that particular period or some of the people all the time like the blind halo effect people but you cannot fool all the people all the time so that's the time people break hey he's doing bullshit and we're going to change the government but in the advanced information era right a small group of people make sure the information available right is not bringing up all the issues like healthcare pollution unemployment poverty instead they throw some crisis yes they will go and attack the neighbor and say they are attacking us and they will put on some uh, cringe movies and they will bring on nepotism something whatever which is not going to be relevant okay. i can see tons and tons of status everywhere in the movie if you take a percentage if you scroll the social media right uh, 50% would be in this entertainment entertainment like sports movies and uh, all these things and another 40% is about them they are traveling here and all these things only 5 to 10% is about the real issues but the people who are really understanding that their voice is so 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 small and because of this they are hiding everything and that's why they keep on getting successful i don't know when lincoln's logic will work when it's going to work still it is like uh, all the people making sure they are the they are the ones they're going to bring up the revolution what revolution they're making so common people is living in a myth government is doing something to uplifting but government is doing something to make sure they are not going to suffer like a uh, universal ma- so so some monthly grant like 5000 they will give it to them so they can buy with those things like a uh, basic income and all those things it just the important thing a lot of things they are working on it it is going to happen in another 15 20 years so they are already started experimenting in few places Okay. and last but not least is like uh, i said earlier the liberal story is based for the uh, industrial revolution right okay but this liberal story when it is on industrial revolution it is for the common people to getting them uplifted that's what we saw initially right everyone had the path to grow and show progress but now it is increasingly getting adapting to this technological change like a cyborg algorithms gene editing and blockchain they are trying to make sure everything is in equal okay a lot of things are there if some major breakthrough going to happen in medical industry right the top oligarchs like the top group is going to one going to use it okay and the other one they going to decide they can give this breakthrough to everyone so and now like the governance is happening in a form of hybrid state okay so you cannot say 
we are just following democracy or we are like uh, autocracy or uh, like uh, we are communist okay other is the rest okay so or there are laws that we are still liberal to open trade and international relations we are seeing but there are some way we are restricting ours like going back as a fundamentalist for example immigration you don't want to immigrate everyone and give support and you want to protect your job and sometimes you are making autocratic to make our people to move to something new forcefully like a cbdc even though people don't want okay so that's how like liberal story is now we cannot say it's a liberal government or it's a fascist or autocratic okay or communist yeah, policies okay but the stories is more and more going towards a buffet approach they can pick a lot to handle in a liberal way or autocratic way or a communist way treating everyone equal okay, that is the thing but there may be and maybe wrong or like uh, evil says in the story he can be wrong and uh, something new also can come but we who knows what is happening but now like uh, it's like a mix of buffet this time and it's complete mix and mess i don't know how to move anywhere wherever okay and what's the first lesson okay everyone is thinking there is apocalypse upon us we don't know how to survive okay instead have a mindset whatever they are receiving right it's not a truth i'm missing something because i failed to understand what's going on in the world let me explore with the learned people and understand more Okay, this will help us to face this 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 illusion, as he's saying, the emotion or like uh, getting cheated. Once you get it, you can't do anything. Okay, you need to learn the truth and avoid this fake propagandas. Okay, that's the way you can grow, and you can choose the right person to rule us. So this is the important lesson, like uh, he concludes in the first chapter, how to move out of your illusion. To, to avoid this disillusion like the emotion and all those things okay